you are looking at one of the most affordable electric vehicles you can buy today. But that doesn't mean this Kona EV, this Hyundai Kona EV, comes cheap. The base version starts at more than $49,000. Now that does not include the various government rebates available in Canada. In Quebec, that could be up to $12,000 combined provincial and federal, and in British Columbia, up to $9,000. The top-of-the-line Kona EV Ultimate, the, the most expensive version, well, that's going to run you about $52,000 out the door. That includes taxes and subtracts the various rebates. What does that mean in a real-world payment? How does $177 a week sound? The Kona is one of my very favorite EVs, and I have a long list of reasons why. It starts with range. Hyundai touts a 420 kilometer range. And in my real world testing, I found this Kona would deliver at least that and sometimes even more. I like this decent sized cargo space at the rear. And yes, the back seats fold and flatten. There is ample room in the back seat too. Look at this, this is excellent. What you find up here is super impressive. I really love the layout. Put it all together and what you get with the Kona EV is an excellent combination of pricing, performance, range, and features. Okay, the design here will not end up in the Museum of Modern Art, even though Hyundai's designers have built in various edges, creases, and corners to dress up the sheet metal. The typical EV also has some extra storage up front, but, well, take a look at that. That's, that's kind of a joke. Hyundai wisely put the charging dock right here in front where it is easily accessible. And yes, you can do a level two and a level three or even a level one. But what I really want to talk about is the onboard charging system it will make a difference for you if you really use your EV to its full potential. Onboard charger? Well, yes, it, it should result in shorter charging times, shaving a few minutes off the time you'll spend at a DC fast charger and saving you nearly three hours when filling up on a typical level two home charger. The Kona Electric's vehicle to load function will also be a boon to those with active outdoor lives. It can charge tools, e-bikes, scooters, lights, and other electric accessories. It can even send power back to your home in the event of a blackout. There is a lot to like here, but you should still do your shopping homework. Take the measure of the Kona against a growing class of small electric hatchback crossovers. Chevrolet's Bolt, Nissan's Leaf, Kia's Nero EV, the Mazda MX-30, and Volkswagen's ID4. Kia's Nero EV is a particular favorite of mine. It's a tantalizing blend of comfort, agility, and features. And while the Hyundai Kona and the Nero EV, well, these are really kissing cousins, the Nero is slightly bigger and slightly roomier. The Kona EV is a very satisfying ride. The dynamic story, quick and composed. The infotainment interface is just so, so easy to understand and operate. The displays are very clear. Yes, you can adjust the responses to extend your range in pure echo mode. There is normal mode, or you can juice up the performance in sport. And battery range is just as advertised. Perhaps you'll find it even better in your real world driving. And more than anything else, I like the price. This Kona EV is a value leader by today's EV standards.